Hello, I'm Peter Riley. I'm the author of the Ways into Science series. Today, we're going to be looking at life cycles. When scientists started to study plants and animals in great detail, they looked at how they changed over time. And when they looked to how these plants and animals began, they could see that they all started off in a small way, either as a seed, or an egg, or a baby. And as time went on, they all grew up and could produce more of their own kind. This period of time, from being a seed, an egg, or a baby, to being full grown and producing more of their own kind, is called the life cycle. Let's have a look at the life cycle of plants. The life cycle of a flowering plant begins with the seed. Inside the seed is a tiny plant. And when it's ready to grow, the seed takes in water and swells up. And the first part of the plant to grow out is the root. This is then followed by the shoot. And here we can see a very thin stem and a few leaves of what is called the seedling stage. Later on, the stems swell up and we get more leaves and we'll be coming towards an adult plant. And eventually, when the plant is ready, it produces a stalk with flowers on it. And in time, the flowers produce fruits, like this tomato. And inside the fruit are seeds. And there we have the life cycle of a flowering plant. If you want to look at the life cycle of animals from egg to adult or baby to adult, one of the best places to go is a farm. So let's go to a farm and have a look at the animals. Here we are on the farm. And the first animal that we see is a goose. And the life cycle of a goose begins with an egg. And when the egg hatches, out pops a gosling. So in the life cycle of a goose, we've got egg, gosling, goose. But other animals are much simpler. They are simply babies. Here is a sheep. And a baby sheep is a lamb. Here is a goat. And a baby goat is a kid. Over here is a cow. And a baby cow is a calf. And over there is a horse. And a baby horse is a foal. 